the um, elderly mom who was supposed to fly from JFK on the next day. So Vlad pondered this predicament for a little while and figured out that the common good, common general, you know, our mutual good, would be for him to rent a car, to drive it over from Detroit to Batavia in upstate New York, pick us up, drive us to New York City, drop mom at the airport, uh, find, find other friends of life who apparently share a common good kind of, you know, circle. Uh, they would stay in their place too, and then drive back to upstate New York, pick up the some, somewhat, somehow, somewhat fixed car, drive it back to Detroit. So this is what. And later, later, I, I found this fascinating many times, many times. One time, for instance, uh, it's up, he lived in Fallbrook for, uh, no, in Fullerton for a while. And in Fullerton, uh, he lent a room to a girl who was a painter. And as he told me that she, uh, she could not possibly create without coffee. And she couldn't drink coffee without a smoke. So, and he, you know, the, the weather in Southern California is horrendous, so he couldn't possibly have her do it outside, right? So she, he had to, so he's a guy who would just cut his own roof, just to, to make a, you know, chimney for her to go to, so she can actually paint. We overdid this a little bit, so the fan, I didn't know, I didn't know how big the guy, the girl was. And her name suggested some sort of diminutive creature, and I thought that she would basically kind of suck up against that that, that vent and, and to, to turn the fan out. And it never, never, ever stopped. So whenever, whenever you deal with him, so if you are within that common, very rational, very rational circle of good, he'll take care of you. It's just because, well, he pondered what predicament you're in, what, what, where does it go in hand, you know what, it's better for me to, you know, come and fetch you from the end of the world. So, uh, when he called me out of the blue and said, you know what, I, that's kind of a, you know, you know, birthday of some sort, right? So we could not possibly not come. Uh, and uh, so, as a, I find myself saying this, uh, saying, repeating my friend's words uh, over and over again. So, the first 60 is gone. Now it's the second 60. Hope it's not the last. Yeah. Cheers. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you.